Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Today is National Taco Day, so we're gonna do tacos, of course, but not just regular tacos. We're gonna do sriracha chicken taco with peach salsa. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our chicken in the Instant Pot. Take about um, a, cup, a cup of water, put it in the bottom of your Instant Pot. If you have a rack, put it in. Um, if you don't, then that's fine. Just take about one to two pounds of chicken. You're just gonna put it right in the Instant Pot there. If you use a rack, just put it on top of your rack. Okay, then we're gonna salt and pepper that. the lid on and we're just going to process this for on high pressure for about um, eight minutes make sure to close your vent and if your if your chicken breasts are thicker than two inches then you're going to want to do it 10 to 12 minutes uh, about 10 minutes probably if you use frozen chicken breast you're going to want to add a couple of minutes to that so we're going to cook this for eight minutes all right we're going to go ahead and make the peach salsa while the chicken is cooking so we start out with one um, i'm going to use a jalapeno you can also use a habanero if you want depends on how hot you want it take the seeds out I always use gloves just because I don't like to touch my eyes accidentally and burn my eyes, but we're just going to dice this jalapeno, this pepper up. Then we want a half of a red um, onion that's diced up. This is a large pepper. If you have just a small, I mean a small onion, if you have just a small onion, just use the whole thing. This is a large pepper, so that I just use the half. And this is a half of a diced red bell pepper. All right, now we're gonna add um, I am using peaches today. I just washed these peaches. I didn't skin them. I just washed all the piece, peach fuzz off. I'm just going to dice these up. Now you can also use mango if you want. I have a lot of peaches and it makes a really good peach salsa. So we're using peach today, but you can also use mango if you would rather use mango. We're just going to dice this up, these up. said I'm doing two peaches these are large peaches
to our peaches. All right, now we're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of lime juice. I really like to use fresh lime, but I decided today I'm just gonna use the this little lime juice right here. So two and a half tablespoons is a half. A lot of times I don't measure it. I just use, I just um, squeeze a lime into there. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of cilantro. I don't um, measure the cilantro, I just add some. Really kind of to your liking. Cilantro. I'm gonna stir that all together. Then we're then just let it sit while the chicken's cooking. We're gonna just go put it in the refrigerator and let it sit while our chicken's cooking. It makes a very pretty, colorful, delicious salsa. All right, our chicken has cooked. It is now. Um, it has. Um, Lost pressure for five minutes, done a natural release. So now we're gonna finish releasing the pressure. Add on to a on here because we're going to shred it now. They say a real easy way to shred chicken is to use your mixer, but I have never done that before. I've heard it's really easy. All right, so when I started shredding it, I realized that chicken was not done. Um, I checked it with a thermometer and it was not done. So I just cooked it longer. I'm gonna test it now before, I'm gonna test it before I take it out this time. Okay, yeah, that's, that's done now. Okay, definitely wanna make sure your chicken is done. Now we'll take it out and shred it again. I did wash the pan and everything. You don't ever want to put raw chicken or uncooked chicken. You don't want to um, put your done chicken on, on something that it's touched. So I washed everything and cleaned it up. Now I have chicken that's done. All right, I'm actually going to drain most of this broth out of here. I'll leave about maybe a half a cup. Make sure to save it because I might wanna, I will probably add some more back into it. I'm gonna add the shredded chicken back to the Instant Pot. Now we're gonna add some stuff to it to make it yummy. I am gonna add a little bit more of this back in here. Today I'm doing sriracha chicken, so I'm using sriracha seasoning. And I'm just going to put, um, oh, I'll just a half a tablespoon in. According to however much you like it heat wise, we might add more. But then we're gonna add 
um, two tablespoons of honey. And then a tablespoon of lime juice. Which there again, when I just use limes, I just squeeze a lime into there. I don't measure it. About a tablespoon of lime. Stir that all together. And we're gonna let this kind of just simmer for just a few minutes together. Um, I think I'm going to add just a little, I'm going to taste it and see if I want to add a little more sriracha. Now, if you don't want, if you don't like sriracha, try a different seasoning. Try taco seasoning, try um, just a seasoning mix, something that sounds good to you. Let that just simmer together for just a few minutes on, um, I'm going to put it on saute for just a few minutes. All right, so I did add just a little bit more sriracha seasoning. Like I said, taste it. And if you think you want more, add a little bit more. So now to make it, you're gonna use tortillas. These are both corn tortillas, white corn and yellow, the little street tacos, they're so cute. So I'm gonna add a little bit of meat. And we're just going to top it with some of the salsa. If you want to add it with a little bit of sour cream, you can add a little sour cream. I love sour cream on mine, but that's it. If you wanted to add some other toppings, you could, but that is, that is what the recipe calls for. And that's how you make um, sriracha chicken tacos with salsa. It's all ready to eat. Enjoy it for Taco Tuesday.